Now, we went up in an Air Force sortie earlier today. And this is this aerial view of Srinagar really gives you the sense of the scale of devastation. The Secretariat, the Press Colony, the High Court, the Bakshi Stadium, Lal Chowk, all of it, all of it is underwater. Srinagar is a wasteland. And while the Air Force continues to airdrop foods, there are practical problems. The slanted roofs, for example, of the houses in Kashmir, because they're not flat terraces, makes the food extremely difficult to drop. The food could even fall into the water. A glimpse from one of the 90 air sorties that are flying in Srinagar alone. The Air Force is literally providing a lifeline to lakhs of people who are still stranded in the Kashmir Valley. This B-17, B-5 helicopter that we are in is one of only 90 sorties that are being flown every day in Srinagar, either to winch out people who are still trapped in water or to evacuate people or to drop food supplies. As you can see here, bread, or in this packet we have chana puri. Let's get a sense from the Air Force officers we're talking to. What are the main, main difficulties, I mean main problems there are more than 70,000 persons are stranded over there. Actually, everybody wants to vacate first. Everybody wants to rush to the helicopter and wants to get in. So but how do you giving, manage the crowd? Generally, we are giving preference to ladies and children. Okay. However, but still, young persons, they are having more energy and all they are getting inside. That is the main problem we are facing. Now we are getting reports that some of the crowds are getting very angry. How are you handling that? We are unable to handle that. Actually, out of eight drop zone, six are giving stone pelting and all. We are unable to handle that. So you are being pelted with stones. Yeah, no. Do you feel bad? Do yeah, you yeah, feel bad? Pe- yeah, yeah. Do you feel bad? Exactly. We yeah. are helping these guys. Yeah. But still, we are being. It's yeah. really bad to hear that.